Hello, this is I Do Damage, and welcome back to the channel. In this Magic Legends video, I want to talk to you about the new update that came out on May 20th, 2021. I want to talk a little bit about the state of the game, my thoughts on the current update, and what all it really brings to the table. I will have everything timestamped down below in the description for your convenience. So if there's a certain part of the update you're looking for and want to know about, Go ahead and check it out. I will also have some other Magic Legends videos, links down in the comments and description below as well. Now let's go ahead and talk Magic Legends. So on May 20th, they came out with this brand new major content update, the biggest patch to date yet. Let's go ahead and break it down. The first thing they added with the new update is the new class, the Pyromancer. As you can guess, this is a Pyro Firemancer Mage class. And it's a pretty sweet little class. I can just do a quick little overview real quick. It has its left click ability is this these fireballs. And they are pretty fun to use, I guess. You also have incinerate, which is your Q ability. It's a fire AoE. And once you've leveled it up, it'll actually stick around and become a hazard. You can try to strategically place enemies in. You also have your dash ability that can leave once you leave level this up this will leave behind a fire trail as well those are pretty much all of the abilities for the pyromancer you also have the ultimate ability which is a fire channeled aoe ability hopefully i can get some footage for that to show you but that's pretty much the new pyromancer class the way you unlock it is if you log in before may 24th you can go into the store and just claim it for free right here it costs zero zen after the May 24th, you will have to go into your battle pass and you'll have to be at least level four of the battle pass, which really doesn't take much time at all to achieve. You can see it right here. That's how you unlock the new Pyromancer. Next up, they added a new act to the game. And when I saw that they were adding an act four, I was pretty pumped. I thought to myself, wow, you know, a whole new act to the game. But if you haven't played the game, you probably don't know this. Each act has one story mission throughout. So these are the Benalia acts. You can see I have a story mission and then an ordeal. Story mission, ordeal. Act three has one story mission. And this is the new act four that they added. Are you ready for it? It's one quest. They added one mission to the game <laughs> and called that an act. I was really, really let down and disappointed by this. The class is pretty cool, but this being the new act four, I just, I don't know. I felt, I felt very, very let down by the new act. Anyway, that's part of the new content update. They also added in a new event to the game. And I don't know what they call it. Latent shadows, I guess is what they call it. This is exactly like the quest or the event they had last month where once a day you can go in, you can do the mission as much as you want, but the first time you complete it each day, you'll get an artifact. Once you have 14 artifacts, you can go into your personal realm and unlock the new card, gold, and some other stuff with it. So what that means is you have to play the game and you have to do this mission once a day for two weeks straight, or you can go into the store and you can just buy the artifacts for two dollars a piece so if you don't want to play the game at all and you just wanted to buy the artifacts for this specific event it would cost you 28 dollars to get all that stuff so that is the new event i just felt that you know it was really kind of lazy because it's the exact same thing just a different mission and a different card as the reward i want to see something more new just something different than just cycling the same thing over and over basically since i've played magic legends i think i took about a month off and it's been a little bit they have added a lot of really nice quality of life features to the game one of the newest features that they've added to the game that i'm a huge fan of is this quick play feature up here your first time that you use the quick play feature you get a daily reward and it's a pretty healthy reward so it's good to do it once a day. But what the quick play is, is it's ordeals and missions, and it just groups you up for anyone else that is looking for any mission. And it just helps you queue in and find groups quicker, basically, with the added bonus. 
once you've done your daily bonus after that, you get 50 of each mana type and some other stuff as well. But I really, the quick play I think is probably the number one highlight for me personally of this new content update. They have also made some changes to your personal realm and I'm not sure if this was in this content update or a patch a week or so ago or whenever. Cause as, as I said, I took a month off from the game. But before you would have these different buildings and each of them would have missions that you would go in and do. For example, to research spells would be, you would just start it and it would take like two and a half days or a day and a half or whatever it was. Well, they've changed it now and made it a little bit more streamlined. And in my opinion, they've just improved it, I think, overall. They've added in three new currency types. You have the first one is your ink for your quill over here to make your daily world enchants. And it's actually pretty nice. You can just come in here and you can do this three times. So each each currency that we'll talk about, you get a certain amount each day. For the ink, you get three a day. For the vault cells, you get one a day. And then this is going to be, you'll see, I'll use it to get mana. And then you also, your meditation gems for the mystical study and arcane workshop, you get two a day. But the way they have it set up is you can hold up to three days worth of each of these currencies. So you could just, you know, come in, you know, take three days off and then spend them all there if you want. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get some of these world enchants. You can see it's just, you know, it's just so much easier. You don't have to wait. You don't have to worry about wasting time and the timer going over or whatever. I think it's definitely a great addition to the game. You can do the same thing over here at your mana vault. And you see, so I just get daily, I get 225 of each mana type. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a great, great addition to the game. Just so that I know it's a daily thing instead of having to worry about that odd time of hopping in and whatever and then this is the last one the mystic study we're just getting random cards anyway i think that's definitely a welcome change to the personal realm is these three currencies good job on that one magic legends i think that's a great change thank you they also made some changes to the cash shop i had someone we streamed last night for a few hours and i got the question of how is the pay to win if you thought the game was pay to win before, not much has changed. They've tried to make it seem more appealing by changing around the booster packs. They have changed the booster packs now, so they no longer have the assassin class in them. You cannot get it from these cards anymore. But instead, you get all of this stuff. You're going to get a mythic spell pack. So I think you're pretty much guaranteed a mythic for each one, they also have here, it opens up a browser page. This shows you the odds of everything. So if you really want to know what your chances are, there you go. So they are a little bit more up front, but it's still there. It, you know, it's still there. You can go in and buy your spells through booster packs if you want. So yeah, they made those changes to the store and you know, I have spent zero dollars on the game and I am happy to be able to say that. I just have been wanting to know what it was like from a free to play player so that I can share my opinions with you without having to spend any money. So, you know, you got to remember, I think with all of these, you can get through normal play as well. So, you know, there's that. Anyway, that's the new cash shop update, realm changes, quality of life. The last thing I wanted to comment on quality of life features is for me, I noticed the performance of the game has improved a little bit it still does drop frames occasionally but it's not as bad as it was before i've noticed a significant increase in frame rates overall there are also other little ui features that you'll notice if you haven't played in a while that just make the game feel so much better quality i guess now let's go ahead and talk about my closing thoughts and just some opinions i have on the current state of the game so I had originally planned to stream Magic Legends on Friday and Saturday this weekend. And I did on Friday and, you know, about four hours in, I had completed all the new content and really just was feeling kind of burnt out on the game. But we'll see. I still don't know if I'm going to play it again today or not, Saturday of the day of recording. I want to just so I can kind of continue working towards unlocking my last class. But the current state of the game Overall, with the new update and everything, this is my honest thoughts. The way that they have Magic Legends set up right now is that it seems like they really only want you to play maybe two hours a day. Anything beyond that, I feel like you're really kind of wasting your time. Again, this is 
my opinions. I know that someone's going to disagree, and that's totally fine. The way they have it set up with all the daily bonuses of your mana through the quick play, your personal realm, you get, if you log in every single day of the week, you will be at least halfway to your weekly cap of mana just from logging in, doing one mission, and turning in at your personal realm. And all of that only takes maybe 30 minutes tops, probably less than that. And then if you go for another hour, hour and a half of overworld events to get mana, you'll you'll get your weekly cap very, very quickly. So it really seems like to me, they don't want you to play the game that much every day. Like for me, sure, I'm probably going to hop on, I'll play for an hour and a half, maybe two hours a day. And you know I'll probably be bored past that point, to be honest, because there's not a lot of content really to do. The way they have it set up and what they're calling end game is just odd to me because you have the buildings in your personal realm, you have your cards to upgrade, you have your artifacts to upgrade, you have your decks. You, there's a lot to like work on and to have a goal for. Like I've had the goal of unlocking my all of my classes through free to play means without spending any real life money. And that goal has been so massive to actually reach like to unlock my final class was like three weeks worth of weekly mana caps like that's insane and this wouldn't all be an issue if i had new content to go do and to actually obtain those resources from because the way they have it right now is you go through the story content you finish your three acts of each plane and then the new now act four banalia and once you've done that, there's you don't unlock like a new game mode. You don't unlock like an end game feature. You don't unlock anything. They just want you to go in and replay the story missions again. To me, end game is when I've completed the story. I unlock perhaps a new plane that has maybe towers that I can go and level up that give me a buff in that zone. There's different world bosses that are actually rewarding. There's so many different ways they could take this game and really, really improve it. As it is right now with Magic Legends, I don't see a point in playing once you've completed all the story missions. Maybe you want to dink around for a little bit in the overworld. The overworld is pretty fun, but you know it's the same thing after a few hours. It really is the same thing. In the story missions, you know, once you've done them, replaying them again on a higher difficulty with world and chance if you want to. It's really just there needs to be more. There needs to be more content for me to go do to work towards my long-term goals on Magic Legends. Current state of the game, I would say wait a few months and hope they add actual content instead of a new act containing one mission. New classes are cool, but that doesn't really add that much to the game in terms of content. And, you know, overall, I would say they are taking the right step in the right direction in terms of quality and improving the quality of life elements of the game. If they keep focusing on that and figure out what they actually want to do for end game, I think they might have a chance, but as it is right now, there's far better games that you could spend your time on. It pains me to say it, but it's the truth. That's going to be it for this magic legends video. If you enjoy this content and all the videos on the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell to get notified when I post new weekly videos. I also do post daily YouTube shorts as well. It's a fun way for me to express myself and it's very therapeutic. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.